All right, I'm gonna do a little test of the attitude indicator. I've got it pretty well smoothed out in X-Plane. It's not perfect, but it's really, really close. So let's do a takeoff here. We're in X-Plane 10 with the default bearing. Let me crank this down a little bit. There we go, that's kind of loud. I've got the knob on it now. You can see we can adjust the little wings here. Let's go ahead and rotate. There it goes. We'll just do some maneuvering here. So the attitude indicator, I've interfaced quite a few instruments now and it's probably one of the most challenging to get the motion right. The thing about the attitude indicator is now, if you look at something like an optimeter or especially like a vertical speed indicator, those instruments can have a little bit of lag. They, they can drag a little bit. Um, they, don't, they need to be pretty smooth is the biggest thing. But they don't really have to be, you know, extremely responsive. The thing about the attitude indicator is it needs to be a direct analog of what you see on the screen. It needs to respond instantly to your control inputs. Partly because if you're doing instrument flying with it, it's got to be, you know, really precise. But if you have a sluggish attitude indicator or one that doesn't respond right away, it's or it jumps around, the whole effect just falls apart. So as you can see, this one is tracking pretty well. It was uh, it was quite a quite a task to get it to work as well as it does now. Let's do some more aggressive maneuvers here. There's a fine line between having the instrument jumping around and overreacting versus having it not respond when it should. Like you can make a really big movement and you know it's easy to see the thing uh, thing respond. But when it's when the attitude indicator is really important is when you're doing like you know instrument flying and you're making these small corrections. See that? And you need to see those. Let's see, there we go. So you might notice the roll on this is just a little bit jumpy, but it's almost not noticeable. It's um, yeah, it's actually pretty darn good. And this is all communicated over UDP. It's over the network. No, there's no USB, so it's a it's a good, fast, reliable, uh, reliable system. It's it's good doing about 50 cycles per second to the attitude indicator, and that's uh, I can adjust that if need be, but it seems to work pretty well at 50 hertz. And of course, nice little bonus here. You might might have noticed it will do a complete roll, which is pretty cool. That's kind of nice for me because I like doing aerobatics. There it is. Anyways, I'm pretty happy with it. Next step is to put it in my simulator. And thank you, Ruthie, for the recording. I've been informed that my my video skills are suboptimal. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right.